Dallas, Texas. A welding supply company minutes from downtown is on fire. The business stores hundreds of welding tanks filled with acetylene, a highly flammable gas. The intense heat of the fire is causing pressure to rise inside the 130 pound tanks and they could explode at any moment. This precarious situation has forced an evacuation of the area and emergency crews to stand back. The building is engulfed in flames and the volatile canisters can't sustain the burning temperature for long. Police have shut down one side of the freeway, but the other side remains open. If these tanks burst, they could turn into lethal projectiles. This situation, combined with being a stone's throw from downtown Dallas, has all the ingredients for what could become a major disaster. Then, the first tank explodes and flies across buildings. The velocity of the projectile confirms that anything in the vicinity is in jeopardy. Then another tank explodes, and this time the five-foot container narrowly misses a truck on the far side of the freeway. Then comes another one. Then another. And another. Before long, a slew of flaming projectiles vault hundreds of feet into the air. They pummel the freeway, at times barely missing drivers. The building is now a launch center for the acetylene tanks and is completely out of control. Finally, the explosions subside. The entire building is destroyed, along with many cars surrounding it. An investigation reveals that one tank with a defective connector caused it to ignite. The flames quickly spread, leading to this explosive chain reaction. Two people at the company suffered third degree burns trying to extinguish the fire. Fortunately, no one was killed when these canisters ignited and wreaked havoc near the heart of downtown Dallas.